Hi everyone, let's take a look at number 12 on page 91. Determine the quadratic function f of x equal to ax squared plus bx plus c if its graph passes through the point 219 and it has a horizontal tangent at negative 1, negative 8. Step 1. If you highlight one of the keywords, horizontal tangent, this means you're thinking about a horizontal line. So when you draw a diagram or when you imagine this in your mind, this is telling you that the slope of a horizontal line equals to zero. So again, if you go back to the question, you're really looking for A, B, and C. So A, B, and C. Now, if you look at the given, uh, one of the points that it passes through is going to be 2, 19. This means you have to look at the function and plug in 2 for x and 19 for y. So 19 equals to a times 2 squared plus b times 2 plus c. If you collect like terms, this will give you 19 equal to 4 times a plus 2b plus c. Now, I'm going to put a box around this, and we can call this equation number 1. Now, likewise, if you look at the second point, negative 1, negative 8, same idea. That's another point on this function. So if you plug in x and y to be negative 1 and negative 8, this would give you negative 8 equal to a times negative 1 squared plus b times negative 1 plus c. When you collect like terms, negative 8 equals to a minus b plus c. Again, you can put a box around this. I'm going to call this equation number 2. Now, if you look at the two equations with three unknowns, the first thing you can do is eliminate c. So you can take equation number 1 minus equation number 2. This would give you 19 minus negative 8. That's going to be 27. 4a minus a is going to be 3a. 2b minus negative b is going to be 3b. If you divide both sides by uh, 3, this would give you 9 equal to a plus b. Again, let's put a box around this. I'm going to come back and solve two equations with two unknowns. So back to the first idea. The fact that the horizontal tangent implies that the slope is going to be 0. This means if you start with the function f of x, which is ax squared plus bx plus c, you can find the general slope f prime equals to 2 ax plus b. And again, uh, the horizontal tangent occurs at x equal to negative 1. So you have to plug in negative 1 for x. And the slope is going to be 0. So this would give you 0 equal to negative 2a plus b. Again, let's put a box around this. If I go back and name this number 3 and name this number 4, you can line them up. So if I copy number 3 underneath number 4, 9 equals to a plus b. And again, back in grade 10, academic math, if you have two equations, two unknowns, so you can solve this by subtracting. 0 minus 9 is going to be negative 9. Negative 2a minus a is going to be negative 3a. If you divide the left side and the right side by negative 3, a equals 2, 3. You can go back, solve for b. This implies that 9 equals to 3 plus, uh, 3 plus b, b equals to 6. Last but not least, if you want to find c, you can plug it back in to, let's say this one, 
this would give you negative 8, which equals to 3 minus 6 plus C. Again, negative 8 equals to negative 3 plus C. C equals to negative 5. Here comes the final statement. Therefore, f of x equals to 3x squared plus 6x minus 5. I hope this makes sense.